What is going on guys? Angela here, welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the coast community. Today, it definitely is cloudy outside. It actually has been raining off and on today. It's currently 4.26 uh, p.m. and the weather outside is like 67 degrees. I'm not gonna make this video really long because we're gonna really just head inside the park, check out Project 305 because they're actually finally about to start the paint process for this thing. Pretty much after October, that whole area is gonna be closed off. So we only have a little bit of time left. I do think we are gonna see our first little bit of test runs probably that second week in October, which I'm really looking forward to. Also check out the fit as always. We got the all black with some black and white uh, Carmelo Anthony's with a Puma and Porsche collaboration. This is my first time actually wearing these. I mean, it's kind of dreary outside, but I wanted to make it pop a little bit. So hope y'all do enjoy the video and uh, let's get inside the park. So it looks like they've added a new scare zone. Looks really good. The theming looks great over here. Really good job. This is interesting right here. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. You got a spider right there. I guess that's supposed to represent Arcadia. This is going to be a nice little scare zone at nighttime. I mean, I may stay here tonight if it clears up. Looks really cool though. Also, this entire area is open now. I forgot to mention that in the last previous video but all of this is now open. We're gonna take a look over the fence here. As you can see, it looks like the footers are finally being settled in place and they're finishing putting the rest of the uh, concrete or cement in there. And uh, so they finally are letting those settle. So that tells me testing, like I said, it should be probably within that first to second week in October. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, the trains are not on the track just yet. They've also almost completed the maintenance shed uh, or really this is for the launch. So the electrical building for the launch that is almost completed as well. So they really just need to finish up the wiring and they can pretty much work on theming throughout the rest of this off season, as well as leading up to, uh, March, 2025 season. The ground is a little wet mainly because it's been raining these past couple of days and it's also supposed to rain pretty much this whole week. So I don't see them really getting too much done, but they're probably going to try their best to get uh, as much done as possible. Now, as we look at the station, the color is definitely bland. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was watching Brian's video, so shout out to him. But I definitely agree. It does kind of look mainly like a barnyard. And it is a little weird. I don't know why it looks so plain. I'm hoping that they add more theming for sure. They have pretty much the whole frame of the building, but they need to add uh, the siding. And there is like a couple spaces uh, that you can't really see from this angle. But if you look further on the side of like Flight of Fear, I missed going last week just because I was busy, but it is really awesome seeing the final track completion. I mean, that was record timing, like literally within less than two and a half months the whole coaster was completed like that's insane if they really wanted to this coaster actually could open probably in winterfest if they really wanted to but obviously it makes sense for it to open in the 2025 season the if in doubt about whether to ride or not, do not ride. Failure to follow riding instructions may result in injury to yourself or others. So Intimidator, like after this turn right here, so as you can see, it's like literally, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of reminds me of uh, of like Top Thrill Dragster, the old where it like kind of switch colors. That's what it looks like on the turn or the big turn. So when you hit that drop, like the whole entire, that all that is pretty much like white now. It's a little bit of like red because like they couldn't get everything done in time because it still has to run. But uh, yeah, as you can see behind me, it's a, uh, it's about that time to get the painting started. I'm excited too, cause uh, I've been waiting for them to switch this color honestly on this thing for a minute. Like it's looked so bad. It's way too faded at this point. They do have like three cranes out there doing some like, uh, sp like the power washing. So yeah.
Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's update. As you saw, I mean, there's not too much going on right now. They're pretty much getting the wiring as well as the station done. Like I said, the trains right now are in a storage shed because one, they don't need to be on the track right now. And um, like I said, they still need to get the wiring done. So once they get the wiring, uh, they can work on theming all in the off season. They have plenty of time. Like They got this coaster done in honestly record time. Two and a half months is probably one of the fastest I've ever seen a coaster grow up. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out.